I think uh, this is Patrick from Roof Life, but I think people that don't live in the Northwest have no idea what our roofs are up against. But this is a south bank of maples, alders, firs, and everything, all the wind and the weather comes through these trees and lands on this roof. This roof was cleaned off five years ago, and this is what's happened when you don't do anything. But I thought it'd be interesting to look at just exactly how this moss procreates. It's like crazy stuff. I'll give you a little close up here. Look at the, the little spores that are forming like flower buds. Those things pop and they propagate all over this roof. And that's a, this is where somebody puts some moss off. It kills it, but it doesn't get rid of it. So it's really interesting to watch as you could see where the roof was treated a little bit and then not treated and then treated again and not treated. But and then there's two different varieties of moss over here. This is kind of a funky looking thing. And it's the fuzzy kind. And this is the roly poly kind. Luckily, they don't have that invasive, really tight. There's some more moss kill uh, up there. The, this particular homeowner is in the army and he goes on active duty and is gone. And, but uh, the spindly kind just takes the roof out. I think this roof actually can be helped, believe it or not. But you don't want your roof to get this bad. This moss tries to grow under the shingle and it lifts the shingle and you end up getting leaks everywhere and your plywood rots. So this is an extreme case, uh, but it just shows you how moss leads to loss here in the Portland area. This is Patrick, Roof Life of Oregon. This is uh, one of the reasons why we live here. This is March 10th, 2016. It's a beautiful March day and and the moss is loving life and roofs are crying for help and that's what roof life's all about. Thanks guys, bye bye.